I'm here at the Mokaleia. Did I do it right? Mokaleia Aqua Farm. Mokaleia Aqua Farm. And he farms catfish and tilapia, is that right? Uh, also clownfish. It's a new product we brought oh, today. Oh, clownfish. We have, uh, we have saltwater clownfish right here. Let's see. This particular one is called a tomato. Oh my gosh, they're tomato guys. That's a... Nobody's going to eat you, are they? Uh, no, the tomato is only the color. It has nothing to do with the flavor. Most people don't eat their aquarium fish. <laughs> <laughs> Sushi, yes. Um, awesome. So we basically have three products here today. We have the clownfish you just saw. We uh -huh. have the tilapia, farm raised. Um, we have the black and the red. Uh -huh. uh, there really is no difference between the flavors. They're brothers and sisters. They all come from above ground tanks. Everything is farmed in clean water, given a clean pellet. We control the food, we control the water. That way we make sure that none of these fish have the off flavoring that you get with some of the wild caught products. Mm -hmm. Both the tilapia and the catfish are very high in fish oils, very high in omega-3s. Yeah. Uh, makes them very healthy for you, but they also have a tendency to concentrate uh, different pathogens in the wild environment. Uh, that's why the wild caught ones have such kind of a muddy flavor because right. if you catch something out of an irrigation ditch, it tastes like an irrigation ditch. That's why the farm raised products are so much better because it allows the sweet flavor of the meat to shine through. You the, are what uh, you eat, right? In, in the case of fish, yes. <laughs> With people, uh, you'd have to eat people who are better looking and stronger than you are, so that's not generally a good idea. You don't want to extend that too, too far along. Um, uh, as I said, we have brothers and sisters here. There's a perception that the blackfish have a different flavor than the redfish. Uh, that reason is because the blackfish are the only ones that you find in the wild. You won't find a redfish in the wild because predatory birds will find it before you do. So the pink because fish or the coloring? redfish you'll only find as a farmed product because that's the only way they can survive is in, is in protected Ooh, tanks. However, again, it's just a perception issue. The fish taste identical to each other. It's an environmental issue, not a coloring issue. Awesome. Thank you so much for being out here. It's my pleasure. Uh, this is a walking catfish, if you want to take a look at these guys. That's one of the few fish in nature that has both a lung and a gill. Oh my gosh. That's why they need almost no water, because these guys breathe air like you and I do. Uh -huh. uh, these fish can literally walk for hundreds of feet over open ground. They can walk through your front yard as long as they're wet. If there's a steady drizzle, these guys could live for days in your front yard. No way. They might raise hell on your lawnmower, but other than that, these guys could be fine in your front yard. Wow. Uh, again, one of the few fish that can actually do that. It's part of an adaptation that's associated with their spawning cycle. They live basically in these muddy ponds in uh, Southeast Asia, Thailand, uh, Philippines and they basically lay motionless on the floor of these ponds for weeks on an end. Uh, the only time they move is to feed, and once they move, they need more air like you and I do, so they come to the surface and start gulping air. Sweet. So come out they... to the Mokaleia? No. <laughs> Mokaleia Aqua Farm. Mokaleia Aqua Farm here at the Hollywood Farmer's Market. Thanks so Thank much for you. stopping to the surface.